Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. This channel is Practical Math, Math for Construction, Math for the Job, Math for Real Life. Today we're going to go over the pricing of lumber, and there are four primary ways they price lumber, and I'm going to go over all of those today in this video. Okay, today's video is all about lumber pricing. If you're new to this channel, this is a practical math channel, so think about subscribing, and I'd also like to hear your comments bef below. Today we're working out of this book, Mathematics for Carpentry and the Construction Trades. I'll put a link to it in the description, and we're talking about chapter 12 in this book, Lumber Pricing. There are four primary ways they price lumber. So let's take a look at a two by four, eight foot long, two inches by four inches by eight foot long. Inch marks are double ticks, single tick is feet. So two by four by eight um, could be sold by the piece. The piece would be $1.92 for that board. Um, that's a pretty common way to do it at a, a home improvement store. The second way they could sell a two by four is by the linear foot. So let's say it's 24 cents a linear foot. I got the decimal place in there, so that's why there's a dollar sign. If I put the cent sign afterwards, there would be no decimal place. 24 cents a linear foot's a common way to do it. By the board foot, this is a cubic measurement or a volume measurement. So the way you figure out the board foot is length times width times depth. And you figure out the total cubic inches and then 144 cubic inches is one board foot. And let's say this board sells for 36 um, cents per board foot. That's another way to sell lumber. And then the fourth way to sell lumber is by the thousand board foot. You usually use MBF, M stands for mill, a thousand BF board feet. So that same board could sell for $360, a thousand board feet. All four of these prices are all exactly the same. Um, they're just four different ways to price. So I'll go over how to convert from one to the other, and we'll figure out um, how to go from 1,000 board feet to the linear foot, or from the price per piece to the board foot. And if you understand that, you'll be a much more effective contractor and carpenter because you'll be able to, able to accurately price your jobs. One little note before we get started is that even though it's a two inch by four inch by eight foot um, board, it is act, the actual dimensions is one and a half by three and a half. So that's a, they call it the after plane or the machine dimensions of it, but they still sell it as a two by four and they still charge you as a two by four. So let's go over to my desk. I'll put the camera over my shoulder and we'll work on uh, converting some of these units to other units. Okay, before we go over some of the units in this book or some of the problems in this book, let's just take a look at our original two by four example. So we have a two inch by four inch by eight foot long board. The piece rate was $1.92. And then, so that was price $1.99 per piece or per board. And then the next cost we had was 24 cents a linear foot. So if we take that 24 cents per linear foot, we'll just use a calculator here and we take 24 cents times the eight foot, I don't know if you can see that, and that's where you get the $1.92. So that's why the linear foot and the price per piece are the same. Next, we're looking at board feet. So board feet was 36 cents per board foot. So to do that, we could do it a couple of ways, but probably the best is just to work in inches. So it's two inches by four inches. Um, so that's the, the width and the depth, and then times eight feet. But I wanna know that eight feet in inches, I'm gonna take that eight feet and multiply it by 12 inches. And that 96 inches right there is the equivalent of the eight feet. So the total number of cubic inches of this board is two times four times eight times 12. So it's 768 cubic inches. 
and then a board foot is 12 by 12 by 1. So if it's 1 deep and 12 by 12, it's a 12 times 12, 144 times 1. So I'm going to take that 768 and divide it by 144. So I take that 768, I keep that value on my calculator, divide it by 144, and I see that board is 5.3 board feet. And that 5.3 board feet times 36 cents a board foot, so times 0.36 gives me the same dollar 92. So 36 cents a board foot, in this case of the two by four, is 24 cents a linear foot, or $1.92 per piece. And then lastly, per M, a thousand board feet, we just take that 0.36 and multiply it by a thousand to get the $360 per thousand board feet. So that's kind of how they all go and fit together. Um, I guess one of the harder ones is figuring out the board foot from the price per piece. Let's jump to the end of the chapter here and look at a few of the review exercises or some problems. I have the f number one is pretty similar to what I did. Number two says I have a one inch by three inch piece of strapping that is 7.5 cents per linear foot. And how much is it per board feet? So step one is to figure out how much a linear foot is, how many board feet a linear foot is. So one inch by three inches by 12 inches long is a linear foot. So I take that one times three times 12 and I get 36 cubic inches. And then how many board feet is that 36 cubic inches? Well, board feet is 144 right, 12 by 12 by one. And then this board is 36. So I'm gonna do 36 divided by the 144, and I could see that's equal to a quarter. So that means a seven and a half cents per linear foot is seven and a half cents for a quarter board feet. So seven and a half cents for a quarter board feet, I would take that seven and a half cents, that seven and a half cents and multiply it by four to get a board foot and that would give me 30 cents per board foot so let me just say that one more time i calculate the board feet of a one by three inch long strapping it's 12 inches long or 36 cubic inches 36 of the 144 cubic inches give me one linear foot is one quarter of a board foot. So to get the price per board foot, I would take that and multiply it by the reciprocal to get 30 cents per board foot. Okay, let's look at problem number three. I have a two by eight, that is $345 for a thousand board feet. Again, M stands for mil. What is the price per linear foot? Well, let's just take this right down to a single board feet or board foot, it's a thousand. So if it's 345, a thousand board feet, I would take 345 and divide it by a thousand to get 34 cents a board foot. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert that to 34.5 cents per board foot. Then I gotta figure out how many board feet are in a linear foot of this. So this is two by eight by 12, 16 by 12, so two times eight times 12 is 192, 192 cubic inches, right? Inches times inches times inches is 192 cubic inches. So I'm gonna do that 192 divided by the 144 cubic inches per board foot. So I have 192 divided by the 144 gives me 1.3 board feet. So a linear foot is going to be 1.33 board feet and the price is 34.5 cents per board foot. 
So I take that 133 times that price I have per board foot, 34.5 cents. So times 0.345 dollars, and I get 46 cents a linear foot. So 46 cents per linear foot. It's not easy, but if you break it down in little steps, it'll start to come together. So again, there are four ways to price lumber by the piece, by the linear foot, by the board foot, or by the thousand of board feet. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, kind of work at it, play with the numbers, have a calculator at the ready. If you like the video, hit like. I'd really like to hear your comments below. I'd really like to know how you or your lumber yard sells the lumber. So comment below if they sell it by the board foot, by the thousand board foot, however they do it. Uh, put that in the comments below. And this is a practical math channel. Uh, if you like it, think about subscribing. Thank you for watching.